everyone, and welcome back. We're looking at request management today with the BMC product line. We looked at ServiceNow last week on Power BI. Now we're going to see that on the Remedy side of things. Uh, two main perspectives you have. Um, you've got essentially the request or customer side of things, and then the fulfillment side, which is IT or other departments doing those uh, tasks or work orders. So you've got a request, you've got a work order, you've got a task. A request could spawn an incident or change or work order, generally speaking. Tasks generally are associated with work orders. So if you had a new hire request, you know, customer comes in, they place in that request into SRM or my IT. Okay, we're generating then those requests um, as part of that in, let's say, that new hire setup. You've got um, maybe one group of tasks that goes to HR, another that goes to IT, another to facilities. Um, and uh, those would be the tasks within the work order. So, uh, you know, that could be spawned. So you would have uh, multiple that need to be done in serial and parallel. And we want to look at the fulfillment times and volumes, you know, as a starting point. So we'll do that in our dashboard here today. So let's get started with a card, okay? Um, card is uh, the simplest um, widget to drop on here. And we're just going to look at our service requests total okay there's 628,000 of them okay next we want to do a key performance indicator so i'm going to use my kpi widget and that is here okay drop the kpi on notice it has the goal status and trend so as opposed to just the value that we have here we now have the goal status and trend and when you have that that means you need to add on you know one of our date dimensions so we'll do that here. So let's see, this is gonna be average hours to close. And we are, so we've got a value, we've got a goal, and then we're using one of our date dimensions here and let's look at the month or date, or do we have year? There we go. Okay, uh, we'll look at our uh, annual goal. Depends how you configure those on the server as to what's available. Okay, so we're doing, uh, looks like 11.5 hours to close, our goal being 48 hours. So uh, we're underneath that. So we want to change in Power BI then um, our goals to say that uh, low is good. Okay, so it's easy to flip that around, unlike performance point, those of you who remember that, it's a real struggle. So here in Power BI, very simple. Um, we really like that. Okay, next we're going to add in um, percentage of service requests completed successfully. Okay, we'll do that. And um, just put a card there. And okay, we've got that value. And then we'll put in a percentage of changes, just so you can see it. This is you know, taking advantage of the join functionality in the multidimensional world. Percentage of service requests that are change requests. Okay, I'll take a look at that. So I'm gonna drop another card on there. I just hit Control Z to go backwards, by the way. That's why we have these disappearing widgets sometimes when I make a little mistake. All right, there we are. Percentage of service requests that are change requests. You can see not too many of them, but there are a few. So next thing I might want to look at is the uh, the composition of these. Now here's one thing you might have noticed: um, your categories may not be uh, they may not be uh, well implemented. Well implemented. So data quality could be an issue. Well, we've got a little solution for you here. Um, we're going to bring up our tree map, and you'll notice you know if you think about it, the way you deploy Remedy, you could have used templates. Okay, and so I can actually, because of the amount of data that we can search so quickly and analyze, um, I can use my summary here, and we'll do service request total. <clears throat> and notice how quickly that analyzed the data. Now, obviously, it's better to have categories. You don't want to be, you know, combing through free text fields like summary. But the fact is that you can gives you a starting point, and this will help you 
to come up with a classification system. So it's a tool enabling your process at that point, which is really, um, you know, uh, something I know that uh, we can all appreciate. And so that's really because of the Northcraft architecture and also uh, Power BI, and, you know, how much uh, data it can comb through. Okay, next, as you know, if you're familiar with our best practices approach for dashboards, we're going to be doing a time series, not a time series analysis. So let's bring a bar and, li bar and line chart into the picture. So line and stacked column. We'll do service request total. Okay, and I want to do that by month. And if you're familiar with dates and remedy, you can see them here. Uh, you can choose any that we have. We'll use submit date because it's the most most common. And this is month. And again, notice uh, something you also may have struggled with in the past is, you know, we've got 628,000 service requests. And can I look across all of time to see the trends at a, at a glance? Okay. And uh, we're going to bring in a, a line now into the picture as well. So we'll look at, uh, you know, percentage of service requests that have been completed successfully and drop that into the line values. There we go. Now we've got our bar and line chart. And all of these widgets are inactive, interactive. So if I click on my hang-ups, okay, I notice there were 5,000 of those. Um, user needs to have their employee ID reset, click on it. Um, we're, we're looking through the composition there. So pretty pretty straightforward, very nice. Okay, now back to all of the details here. And for the final drill down, you know, I always recommend this for managing by exception, bring in our table, excuse me, bring in our table field uh, or matrix either, depending on the scenario. And this is where we can just look at our uh, granular data. So we'll look at those, you know, the ID of the service request. Bring in the status. I don't want it to be part of a hierarchy. There we go. Okay, bring in our status, our status reason. Make sure I'm clicked in the uh, the area that I'm uh, that I'm working on. Okay, status status reason, and then let me go back into my cube and choose within our proper dimension here. Service request information. Bring in our um, service request ID. There we go. Okay, so this is your granular data. Um, bring in anything you like. Um, urgency, priority, et cetera. Okay, so that you have your aggregate at the top, tier one of the dashboard, time tiers at tier two with an additional composition, and then your granular data at level three. So um, this, uh, again, they're all interactive because it's Power BI. That's built in, no need to code that in. Uh, yourself or manually, it's pre-built. So I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration for today in building our request management dashboard for BMC Remedy ITSM. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for your time.